The General Dental Council is going to inspect our clinical data. Stay tuned. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reza Ritzer, I'm the Director of Undergraduate Education at the School of Dentistry, University of Manchester and thanks a lot for joining me on this episode of Manchester Molars. If you are in the final year of the BDS program or the BSc OHS program, you are aware that the National Student Survey is now open. The NSS is run by the Office for Students and they evaluate all programs run by higher education institutions within the UK. And of course, our dentistry program and dental therapy OHS program are no exception. Now, the NSS, pretty much like all the other surveys, they only attract nearly 50% response rate. Having said that though, I really, 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 really love to know the opinion of every single of our final year to see how they enjoy the program. So I know that you're already getting lots of reminders from the Office for Students, but could I please encourage you to go ahead and fill the NSS for this year. So we've been waiting for a few weeks for the General Dental Council to clarify exactly what clinical data they're going to inspect. And finally, yesterday I got an email. So please come and join me so Dr. Dixon and I could discuss this with you. Hi Carly. Now, first of all, you are on an annual leave and you agreed to come on Manchester Mall. I'm really, really grateful. How are you today? You okay? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, well, thank you very much. I think we were all uh, in the receipt of this uh, email from GDC. Uh, we were waiting for a couple of weeks, isn't it? Just to see what their position is, what they want from us in terms of our quality assurance of our students. And uh, finally, we got the email yesterday. Uh, and I'm sure, like many of the uh, students, uh, our staff also want to know where they're heading and what GDC is expecting. Do you want to shed a bit of light on this, please? Yeah. So as I said, we were waiting for an email from GDC and unlike last year where they just asked us for a simple email to assure, they, they want much more detail this year in terms of looking at our student data to see what clinical experience they've had. And really quite importantly, they want to compare that to the 2019 data. So prior to COVID, so that's one thing that we need to think about. The good thing was is that we set our standards the same. So we've not reduced anything because of COVID. And I think that will do the students in good stead because they've been working towards the same targets so that's one side of things and that's stuff that we will put together and provide for the GDC. Another section that they want to look at is in terms of our sign up processes um, which again haven't changed because they wanted to compare that now and before to Covid so that's good so we've kept everything similar there and then the final thing which is quite important for the students is for a clinical portfolio they've requested of uh, and they've requested it from a range of students across um, the year, so not just one or two, they want to look at quite a lot of different students or with different kind of clinical experiences. And the students clinical portfolio will be their written milestones. Um, so we wanted to let the students know as soon as we had this information to make sure that they can start to organise all their written milestones all together so they've got them nicely in a file and then we'll provide more details of how they can upload it and um, so we'll have all that documents together that way but we wanted to let them know as soon as possible for that. Okay thanks Carly so I think from uh, the student's point of view they can just carry on doing what they're doing uh, there are no surprises and as we pretty much Gave them a heads up like three years ago that the written milestones might become a handy so keep them all nice and organized we might have to have them all submitted so it looks like now gdc wants to have a look at them so great uh, so uh, we just go ahead and organize that and i believe you're already having communications with it trying to create a portal on blackboard so they can go ahead and start submitting now just to reassure them so the way it's going to work is that they can always go ahead and update so if they still have got ongoing milestones uh, they can submit what they've got uh, but then when they got new ones added they can just simply go and replace is that correct yes completely because we don't expect all the students now to have completed their milestones so it's kind of a prompt to get everything nicely organized with the ones that they've already done continue working for the ones that they've got and then they can update and upload them as they're as they're going along um, so that's just kind of a heads up from that front of things um, okay and i think it's worth mentioning that our deadline to give all this data to gdc is sometime mid-april am i correct yeah that's right and I think it's worthwhile knowing, although the deadline for the GDC is the middle of April, there might be some students that still could be missing a few milestones that they were planning to fit, finish by the end of term. That's okay. 
um, we can explain that to the GDC. They've just suddenly given us this date. So we're not suddenly wanting to move the milestone forward for our students, but we want to make sure that they're aware of the dates and what's going on in the background and what requests we've had as a school um, to kind of support them to make sure that they can graduate if they've got the evidence. Exactly that. And again, to reassure them, back in 2009, it was the same. So we always had the same whereby not all the students would be able to finish things. Um, and we brought them back and just helped them and support them to finish uh, their requirements. So th what they want is a comparison, a direct comparison of the data by mid-April to the 2019 cohort by mid-April. Uh, so I think it's going to be a reassuring for the students to know that. So there's no no extra deadlines. There's nothing is going to change. We already got most of the data and all they have to do extra is just start to organizing the written milestones so they can submit them to us soon. Yeah, then um, that's kind of the main and I know they've got the mock exam next week, so it doesn't have to be done next week. It can be done after they've done the mock because that's important for them to concentrate on. We don't want to overburden them, but just kind of in the back of the mind, if they do, if they are writing up written milestones, I'm just making sure that they're in a nice folder rather than. Um, and it's the same kind of thing if you're looking at foundation training, making sure all the projects that you've done are all nicely stored together. So it's that same kind of um, process, really. Okay, thank you, Carly. Now, I know that is your annual leave. Is it your birthday week? Yes, it was my birthday so, on Tuesday, so... Massive, massive uh, happy birthday. Thank Enjoy you. whatever is left of your annual leave, and I will see you on Monday when you're back. Perfect. All right, you take care now. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached the end of this episode of Manchester Mullers. Until next Thursday, I've been Reza Ritzari. You've been amazing, and I will see you all next week. Get the jab, jab, get the jab, get the jab, get the get the jab, jab, get the jab, get the jab, get the get the jab, jab, get the jab, get the jab, get the get the jab, jab, get the jab, get the jab, get the get the jab, jab, get the jab.